A special report from the Silvis' Media, the Freedom Network, for May the 22nd, 2013, Wednesday. I want to tell you something, folks. There is, it's really funny, but it's really crazy, too. Congress, there was a representative in Congress trying to sell off carbon taxes, taxes to Washington to try to put it through law through all the states in light of what happened, in lieu of what happened in Oklahoma with the tornado. Do you believe this? It's crazy, isn't it? They want to try to come up with a law to hire everybody's taxes to make generate this carbon tax. Because And they want to say that it's our fault that FEMA won't go and help them because they need to pay a carbon tax. And because they didn't pay it, they're not going to help them and try to blame the weather on the people there in Oklahoma. You hear how insane that sounds? That's just like saying, well, the Rocky Mountains receive, you know, over a hundred, a couple hundred inches of snow in the winter every year because they do. They receive a lot of snow. And they're going to say, well, if you don't pay us, then you're going to receive a lot more snow. And if you don't pay us, it's going to be your fault. Like they can control the weather. Well, they do admit that they do control the weather a little bit. And they have some control over it, but they don't have total control over it. Because a lot of times they try to mess with the weather. And then sometimes their stuff doesn't always work because God goes in there and messes with it too. And sometimes it doesn't always go to the area where they want it to go. But they do have some control on the weather, but I wouldn't say they have total control on the weather because God also comes in there and starts jiggy with it too. And Sometimes it goes to a different area. You know, what I think is that God ought to, I know God's listening to me too, but I think, you know, God ought to go in there and shake up the weather and maybe go in there and send a big storm to Washington, D.C. and destroy all these bad politicians and everything and destroy all the people that are evil and spare all the good people in Congress and in the Senate and in Washington, you know, that are all good, and then just destroy all the bad globalists, elitist uh, puppets that are that are coiling up like a baby that's uh, in heat because they want to, you know, suckle on the breast of a, of a new world order because they're too scared because they don't got the balls to stand up against it and say it's wrong and lock up these people and put them in jail and put them in indictments under war crimes and under all this false stuff we don't need to hire taxes for and make or make up a tax to say it's global and that we need to pay carbon taxes to stop the weather because weather is going to happen regardless whether you control it or not because you got to realize god also has control over the weather too a lot more than you do so even though you might try to tamper with a storm or make a thunderstorm God, sometimes I've seen it where y'all try to do something, God come and collapse the storm. So, you know, you don't have control as much as you think you have over the weather because there's a bigger element, a lot bigger than your your chemicals and things and seed in the clouds. There's a lot bigger force in the universe, and that's Jesus Christ, and he's a lot more bigger and powerful than all your stuff that you have, and you can't really have full control because God still has full control over everything. So, you know, you might think you have a little bit of control, but you don't have all control. You never will. So, you know, what you know, if, you know, this is lun this is lunacy to say that all people to base this argument to use the Oklahoma tragedy as an opportunity to tax people a carbon tax all over America. This is bombardedly crazy. It is stupid. And the thing is you know, if anyone buys in this in Congress, you're all on dumb or stupid pills. You don't need to buy in it. It gets crazy. It sounds nuts. And the people that, the guy that's saying this, he needs to be locked up and put in a rubber room. And anybody that supports it or puts it through needs to be put in a rubber room along with them. Because that is just nuts. So anyway, you all think about that. They're trying to use this as an opportunity to try to tax the rest of us and then even tax Oklahoma. They already talked about taking money out of private bank accounts and pension accounts. I don't know when it's going to happen, but they're already having private hearings on them for the last couple weeks they've been having them. Because they did it in, they did it in cyber, so now they're going to do it here and they're doing it in, already in Europe. So it's coming here. So folks, you know, we need to speak out against this all the more and we need to 
you need to come up with a system and have some take just only have a little bit of money in the bank to pay your bills and anything else that you have you need to keep it out of the bank so when they do take it out they won't really get much you know or pay all your bills and before they take it out and there won't be no money in there so you know you know anyway there's other ways to get around it or we need to come up with a bank that is not regulated by the government in any way and people can just have their money stored there privately and get off of the federal reserve since they're going to try to do all this stuff and uh just do the old-fashioned way like they used to do and where people would privately have their own bank accounts in the olden days where it wasn't regulated by the federal reserve that's supposed to be private but instead they try to say it's federalized when it's not supposed to be and according to the constitution it's not supposed to be because it's written there that it's supposed to be private not federalized and that's what's got us in all this trouble and all these things happening but you all congress people don't pass this lunacy don't listen to that guy saying you all need to wake up now because that's crazy you know and I want to say another thing. Oklahoma and all the all the areas in the area in Tornado Alley shows in the last decade that there's been the lowest amount of tornadoes in that area. So for them to say that there's been more tornadoes in that area, in the areas where they normally have, is ludicrous. It's crazy because it's been the lowest count in the last 10 years. And, of course, you could apply that to guns. They're trying to say that there's an overwhelming you know, alarming fear factor with guns. So they want to try to base that on that fact to try to take away all of our rights in America. Now, the only place where it's alarming is in the place where people don't have guns. That's where it's off the charts. But nationwide, it's not off the charts. Because in the areas where the people do have guns freely, the crime is very low. It's almost non-existent. In the areas like New York, Chicago, and California, and those areas where they do not have guns, that's why crime is so bad. And that's why all the criminals go there, because they know there's no guns there. So it's like an opportunity for them to crime, you know, to do lots of crime in those areas. So, you know, that's what they're trying to apply, that same argument with that, with the weather. You know, well, we got to tax it, or we have to take, we got to go fully into martial law. We don't need martial law. We need our guns. And all the areas that lie and saying that it's overwhelming when yet it's, it's really low in all the areas which are a lot more in the United States. Most, about 80% of the United States still has areas have guns. Crime is very low. There is some crime. But guns are not off the charts. It's only in New York and Chicago and California is where it's off the charts because they have gun-free zones. And there's, that's why the criminals come in. Say, hey, there's no guns here, so we're going to just come in. But anyway, this is Michael De Silva signing off for May the 22nd, 2013, Wednesday. I'll see you later on today with another update.